So, we're modeling a pen today. The idea is to learn some more concepts about extruding and scaling. Hi. I hope you're having a fabulous day. <laughs> right, so let's start out again. First of all, your default cube is there. First things first, you're going to want to um, add a background image. So, we had just hit that plus sign a while ago. On the right side, you can see over here. And is the shortcut for that. I'm going to turn my screencast key so you get to my shortcuts as usual. And here my background images. Add an image. The next one is just to open the image wherever it is located. And currently, I have an image of a paper mate pen right here, which you can find on Google. I'm just using it as a reference. Now, right now, you're not able to see any of this paper mate pen fanciness. That's because the current view is in all views, but these all views only work in orthographic view. And we are in user perspective view. So first of all, we're going to need to change that to any one of these you want to use as your model point. I'm going to choose right orthographic view so that I can see what my pen looks like from the right. And I'm going to delete my cube that I get by default. Now right now my 3D cursor is not in the center of the screen as I would like it to be. So I'm going to press Shift and S and cursor to center. That centers it. If any case, so you find an image and you kind of want to align it the way you want it to be, you can always go back in here and you can choose your options for X and Y. X and Y, whether you want to move it left and right or up and down. Or even if you want to change the size. It's all up to you. Right? So I'm going to set these back to 1 and 1. And I'm going to stick with this and kind of move this down on my um, 0, sorry. Oh, Y. Then I'm going to add a circle, which I can use by pretty much add circle. You could use a cylinder to make this thing. So scaling that up, my image is not at 5 anymore. It's actually at, um, where is that option? Another size besides the default 5, 12. That way I get to see more of whatever I want to look at. I'm going to pull that back over. Going to um, wireframe view in edit mode and I'm going to scale and um, rotate this sorry so that's a R on the 90 degrees and rotation is based on the current view you're in right so I have that as my size I'm going to extrude this all the way over to that direction and I don't want to be a freeform extrusion I want to extrude on the Y axis so I get that kind of zoom in to see where it is exactly I can just hit numpad period right there and you can see as we reach here I'm going to extrude that, and carry it across, scale it down, really quick process, extrude, right about here, scale it down, extrude, Y, scale it down, extrude, like a little bit down more and extrude again, on Y, and scale e. hmm? yeah. Bye, Shanice. Scale this down because you want the point to be there. Extrude. Huh? Extruding is key. And scale that in. So it's going to be a medium point at the end of the day. So scale that in some more. And one more extrusion. Scale it in. Now, what I want to do is just merge them at center. So I have this, and it's currently open like that. You kind of don't want to see that. So, what I can do is extrude it, scale it in. So, it's just a little bit out, and you have an option for merging to center which is alt and m merge at center and that go ahead this is this one by the way extrude just a little portion of it and extrude that part though yeah. mm -hmm. Moving on. So we have this so far. It doesn't look too bad, I think. Not sure. Depends on me. So I'm going to pull this over here so I can do that and scale up a little bit. 
Then go back over here. So I'm going to continue on this side. And simply just carry it out. And you can't really see what the inside of this pin looks like. So it doesn't really matter where I have extruded it all the way up or not. I'm going to probably about to stop right here. But if you know what the end of the point looks like, you can always just choose to model it. And I kind of have an idea of what it looks like. It kind of looks like this. Extrude, scale in, extrude on the Y, a little bit like so. Extrude again, scale it in, extrude on the Y, and pull it out just a little bit. Now, this one is still open. You don't want that again. You're going to extrude, scale it in a bit, extrude again, and add them. Now, the reason why I extrude before merging in is because at the end of the day, I want some additional vertices just in case I need to do a loop selection somewhere around here. Now back to here, we're about there. Now what we need to do is get this cover part now. What I'm going to do is do a loop selection of these vertices. So Alt and um, then you click right there till I get the outside. I'm going to do a Shift D, which is to duplicate, and kind of move these vertices out. And just using this, scale it out like so. S, well, not S, sorry. Scale up by Ramona. Extrude. Kind of scale it out a little bit. Go by this job. Extrude Y. Extrude Y. Carry it up to here. Extrude and scale it this time because you want it to just be a little bit and extrude along here and extrude and scale it in and again extrude again and scale it in and probably can extrude and merge to the center now the issue is because what we have so far is this pen shape thing I could always set this to be smooth and then um, Add a modifier here for my um, subdivision surface with a additional um, edge split to kind of get those sharp edges if I so desire. But I don't think I need so much of the modifiers yet, so I'm gonna hide them by clicking on the eye. Probably leave the edge split so I get that. Gives me a much smoother look. And so on. the top part is still open, so you can actually come back over here and loop select that. Extrude, scale it in, and you know in paper made pens they usually have like a little opening at the top, so you can actually go in there and model that if you want to. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. I pull this out a little bit. Extrude it in, scale, extrude again, pull it in, and scale it in. Extrude and scale, and one more extrusion with a merge in the center. So I get kind of like a basic paper made shape like that. Now the last part of the whole thing is just to get this raised edge right here. You could do that um, multiple ways you could do it. One of the easiest ways to do it is just to extrude and just scale it in proportionately. Um, so we could probably take something like go into face selection mode and choose the top vertices that we need. So up here, up here, up here. And if for any reason you need to go up top, don't be afraid to. And kind of give me that and that and that. So I get those selections. I'm going to extrude on the Z. Actually, wrong, bad idea. Best thing to do is extrude all of these. Or better yet, select here the edges actually. One. And symmetrically speaking, with this thing out of the way in the center, I probably do something like selecting one, two, this one. Till it comes up here. <coughs> and I can probably extrude that on the z axis. Try it up a little bit. 
um, probably rotate it a bit too into this view. If I look at it here, I get this kind of a look here. Now what I want to do is just kind of pull these points down. So now this is not by any means the only way to do it. Some of easier ways to do this. So I'll stick with that. So this was one way you could have done it by using that. Um, another easy way to do it would be to just select these points. I'm just going to stick with this one. Top view. Bye bye. Extrude, extrude, extrude. And uh, this and that and that and that and perhaps this and that and that and that <clears throat> no I'm trying to count the four from the left four from the right so that's what it's about so extrude now on the z-axis right now it looks like this not exactly the best looking thing in the world but then you can just scale it in on the X to get something like that. And it curves in quite nicely, really. Then you could probably take um, what they call a knife tool. You can use K. And probably start cutting some stuff out. Probably from about here. So I'm going to knife this thing. Try that again. I'm about here to here to here, about here, and then here and here and about here. Right? Press enter and I get additional faces to cut out. Then I can go in here now, control tab, select those faces that I need. One, two, three, four, five, six. And um, just extrude on that axis right there. Lastly, but not least, extrude again and rotate based on my current view and just scale it on the z axis to it. Yeah, this looks nice, like so. Now we're pretty much done with this paper mate pen except for one point that top part is hideous. Now, in the actual paper mate pin that part is actually carried down so we can just go into the um, edit mode again select just those points we need to kind of move down so kind of a loop selection here let's go with that and then choose these the vertex sections up here and here and here and here and there and there and here right three move those down and for these now uh, kind of annoying really for these uh, loop selections is such a pain sometimes uh, pull this and this and this and this or you can just use circle select which is C and just select those that you need press escape when you're done go in here now kind of move this down like so and I give you this look. Probably um, same thing here. C selection again. And then it selects about one side or two. And then you just pull this a little bit down to you get a kind of a shape like that. And then <coughs> you get that. Voila. Okay. Yes, even your voices are being recorded right now. Now the pen is complete, relatively. And it wasn't so difficult. It's just a matter of getting the shape how you want it to be. Writing, right. Let me put that as a separate video. I want to stop this one.